another episode of Tough Aonga. We're here at Bay Moana Savai and we're ready for today's adventure. That's right, it's going to be another awesome day traveling around Samoa, checking out the amazing things you can do here. It's going to be awesome. Let's go. You're watching Tough Aonga. <laughs> Episode. <laughs> Today on Tafaonga, we go riding into the sunset at Falealupo. Woo! <laughs> like literally into the sunset. The sun is right there. We're on the western tip of Samoa. Then we try our luck on the water when we go fishing. Ah, uh, come on. <laughs> Today, we begin our adventure in Murifanua on the west coast of Upolu, where the folks from outdoor Samoa are going to gear us up for the road trip. Now, you can cycle around Upolu if you wanted to, but we've decided just to check out a bit of the scenery here in Murifanua, then take our bikes on the ferry across to Savai. And then, cycle towards the most western tip of the entire Samoan archipelago, Falealupo. Ready? Yeah, man, I'm ready. I'm ready. I've been training for six days. Tino, Zephyr. Battle of Tino. Tino, yeah. Malo Sofo. Kevin, bikes for hire? Yeah, we do. We do. You have at the back there. You want to go and have a check? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Let's go. Let's go. go. Okay, my friend, so we are hoping to have a bit of a look around this part of the island. Maybe okay. just go for a bike if that's okay. Okay. Um, we are here, outdoor sandbar. Mm -hmm. So. And if you want to cycle all the way from here to uh, Lefano Bay, yes. so that would be a good exercise. Oh, yeah, it looks it looks pretty close. How far is that? It's 22 kilometers. <laughs> 22. <laughs> Are you ready for 22 k's? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's good fun. Huh? Yeah. Do we have a shorter, uh, a yeah. shorter Do track today? Do we have today? like a two k? <laughs> he's like, come on. He's, wow. he's like, you're like useless, man. <laughs> so you, you want to show? The bikes? Yes, yes. But my also. Here's our bikes already set up for you guys. Um, hey, these are fancy. The, the dogs. Ah, yeah. yeah okay. Okay. Yes. If you see them coming, you know, you can hop out the bikes. Yes. Just put the bikes between you and the dogs. Okay. Um, yep. They say, Hello. 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 Yes. <laughs> Hello. So, Tito, what about if you're on the bike and you have to go, like you have to go real bad, but you're still riding? What do you do? Oh, just keep going. You know, cycle hard. <laughs> just keep going. Cycle hard out. Just keep going. Go faster. So, anyways, <laughs> thanks for coming. Yeah, yeah. Uh, have a good day. Okay, and have fun. Okay, I also. Our bodies are still aching a little bit from our hike up Nuutele Island. We might have to warm up and stretch our biceps and triceratop muscles. Mm. I ripped my shorts! Oh no! Oh man! <laughs> oh, we can feel like it! Man, I can feel natural air going off way. Oh hey, I can see your acapella <laughs> Well, just trying to be all cool and jump on my bike and then that happened. <laughs> I guess this is one thing they need to have in the safety briefing. Wear comfortable shorts. Your bots roll out. Hey, you guys are sad, man. My mum bought me those shorts, Sephiroth. Unlucky use. <laughs> oh, man, that was so embarrassing. Luckily, I bought another pair of shorts just in case. Okay, well, after that slight wardrobe malfunction, we're on the road for some sightseeing. That's right, our mission right now is just to get to the top of Mount Le Fafa in Falatai and then make it back to Murifanua Wharf to catch our ferry across to Savai. One of the cool things about bike riding in Samoa is you really get to see all these beautiful villages from the road. And uh, from this side of the island you can see my village, Manono Island, the Puyai. Yeah, Ati, Kakawa! Oh, Ati, Kakawa! <laughs> <laughs> Zephyr, yeah. I've got a joke for you. Hit me. Where do Samoans buy their bicycles? Where? The Fale Wheeler. That's my dad's joke. <laughs> Get off the road! <laughs> Hey, 
the posse. Hey guys, that's the hill I was talking about. That's the hill? Yeah. Nash, lightweight. Really? I, I eat these hills for breakfast. <laughs> See you at the, the top. top. Go, go, go. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Ah, Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> the notorious young shepherd, baby. Let's go, go Seva. Ouch. Unless you're an Olympic mountain biker like Sefa, you probably want to pace yourself when cycling up steep inclines. Remember, it's not a race and there's still so much beautiful Samoa to see. I think I was too fear fast, too fear furious there. Oh, too fear boko. So, pedal back. You take it easy, it's still a long way to go. Alright boys, we're not there yet, so uh, shall we push on? Should we keep going? All right, Tino, lead on. Whew. Well, after finally catching my breath, I lost it again because the view on the top of the mountain is breathtaking. <sighs> okay, mission accomplished. Now we have to get to the wall. The ferry ride to Savai takes about an hour. So it's a nice little break before we hit the road again in Salilolo. We ride 90 kilometers along the scenic North Coast Road towards Asao. Of course, we're not going to ride non-stop. That's right, when you take these cycle tours, we recommend you take plenty of rest stops along the way. Try spending a night at a beach valley or hotel and then continue on the next morning. Well, we made it to Asao, and I think it's time for a rest stop and a nice cool dip. The good thing about cycling in Samoa is that there's always fresh water pools to cool down in, like this one in Nasai Savai. That's right. Now, if you're traveling around Samoa, the one thing you don't want to be is le mafaufau, which means acting without thinking. So before you take a jump in one of these pools, talk to the local makai. They're more than happy to have you come in. These pools are usually what they call vaipunga, which is an underground aquifer. They're super clear, nice and cool, and they're the perfect way to cool off on a hot day in Samoa. Just like this. <laughs> it's good for swimming and it's clean and pure enough for drinking. Hey, Sefa, Sefa, isn't that the kids' paddling pool? <laughs> so these aquifers, they come straight from underground, so they are cold. But I tell you what, super refreshing. <laughs> Okay, we better get a move on because we still have another 30 kilometers to ride for the famous sunset in Falealupo. We're gonna go right into the sunset, like literally. Like really into the sunset. The sun is right there. We're on the western tip of Samoa in Savai and it is absolutely stunning. We're in the beautiful village of Falealupo. Look at that. So they say that this is Bulotu, the last place where a Samoan soul will touch the land before it goes into the underworld. And it's actually the last, no, the first, first. country to see the, the sunset. sunset. We used to be the last, last country, country to, to see, see the, the sunset. sunset. And now we're the first country to end the sunset. So we used to be the beginning. In the beginning. The, <laughs> wait. If you carry the two. Hold on. Okay, I think we're confusing ourselves here. So up until 10 years ago, Samoa was the last country on earth to see in the new day. But in 2011, Samoa changed time zones. Time traveling 24 hours ahead, officially making it the first country in the world to welcome the new day. And the first country to see the sunset. Oh, yeah. We made it, just in time. This looks like a cool spot. This really is beautiful. And to think, we are probably the first people today to witness the sun disappearing from the horizon. That's right, Huey. This is not the beginning of the end or the end of the beginning. 
it is just living in the moment. Wow, Sifa, that was deep. Okay, so now that we've finally made it here, we're just gonna hang out and enjoy the sunset, I think. But stick around, there's more adventures coming up. That's right. A cycle tour really is one of the best ways to experience and explore Samoa. Often, when you travel by car, you really miss a lot of the things that make Samoa so beautiful. Next up, we go fishing. And because we're already in Savai, we decided to head back to our south to Waimoana Seaside Lodge. Okay, the sun is out, the lines are in, it's fishing time. We're gonna go catch ourselves some monsters. The beauty of fishing in Samoa is that the fish are big and around the whole year, from blue marlin and yellowfin tuna to mahi-mahi and barracuda and a whole range more. Oh, I love the sea. To be honest, I really don't wanna hear you singing, Huey. That's the sound I wanna hear when the fish is being caught. Fish on! It didn't take us long before we got our first bite. It was all hands on deck. But unfortunately, I think Huey's singing scared it away. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. I don't even know whether or not the boat would have held that marlin. That was, uh, we may have had a hard time putting it in. That was incredible. And that's the awesome thing about being fishing in Sawai. Only like a kilometer off the shore and we're already getting hooked on with marlin. It just jumped up and then whoppa! Oh, it went back in the water. I was like, shut Man, that was exciting. Okay, so we're just changing over the lures. We're gonna put this guy on, see if we have any luck with him. Yeah. I will not let you down and I will bring you the biggest fish we find. I got a big one. Oh, I can feel it. Another one gets away. to a restaurant and order fish and chips, think of us. Think of the hardship we have to go through. That's right. Fight the waves. E. Fight the... The COVID. Fight the, fight the fight. One fish at a time. Spiritually. That's it. Financially. So. Economically. <laughs> oh no, hey brother. <laughs> Where did that come from? Fish on. I think my random pep talk has inspired Huey. Keep attention, keep attention. <laughs> oh, big angry barracuda. Well, it's not a tuna, but it's still a fish. Hiya, look at him go. Dinner time. Dinner time. <laughs> I highly recommend coming out to the Vaimoana Resort, going out fishing with Sully and the team. It's been absolutely awesome. We had a blast today. In fact, hey, there's a fish right there. What? Oh, what? Look. Hey. Ah, uh, I'm not. Ah, <laughs> uh, here we. Cap, I got water funny. No, actually, we gotta go get here. We here we. Hold on, I'm coming. Oh, I just jumped off the boat. Join us next episode with part two of our fishing experience, this time off the coast of Upolu. I get the song now. Yeah, which one? Elengi, Elengi. Oh, you gotta keep it down. We wanna catch the fish today. Oh, 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 I'm sorry, sorry, you didn't like my singing? <laughs> <laughs> Proud of you, Sefa. Yeah, get into it. Woohoo! Let's go, Sefa. Make sure you join us next time on, on Safaonga. Safaonga. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, perfect, perfect. Take your battery, man. <laughs>